So the last thing I want to talk about before moving on from clays is something called soil suction. Now soil suction happens above the water table um, in unsaturated pores where the space between soil particles um, is occupied by some water. Now the surface tension of that water creates menisci um, and a force that, pull, that binds the, the soil particles together. And that creates um, an apparent cohesion that the soil has that goes beyond the attraction um, between um, solid particles. So the, the soil has a, an apparent cohesion. Um, and it's due to the negative pore water pressure that exists within um, these droplets of water. So the ability for soils to, to generate soil suction, to generate negative pore water pressure, is a function or directly proportional to the particle sizes within a soil. So um, clay-sized particles um, will have a, a thousand times greater um, soil suction than a sand-sized particle. So this is important when we're thinking about stresses within soils because we take the pore water pressure from the phreatic surface. So the phreatic surface is where the pore water pressure is zero and we calculate um, our pore water pressures as a function of depth below that. Um, now this can be complicated when we go into the field to try and measure where the phreatic surface is because the presence of negative pore water pressure above that creates um, uh, conditions within the soil that can seem almost fully saturated, um, so even several meters above this phreatic surface. So where do we take the phreatic surface um, from when we're measuring high water contents above it? Um, and this is even um, uh, more trickier for soils with a, a fluctuating phreatic surface where we might have groundwater conditions that means that we don't have a constant, um, constant phreatic surface. Uh, so there's, there's a whole range of uh, techniques that uh, are employed to, to get over, over that, a range of pressure meters. Um, and we'll talk about that later in the, the, the video series when we're talking about um, site investigation. But it's important to start um, thinking about soil suction um, and its influence on the phreatic surface now.